This video is going to show you how to blur a part of a video using CapCut. Whether it's a face, license plate, or private info, this will only take you two minutes, and you can do this for free. So let's start by opening our CapCut app, and then import the video on which you need to blur something. I have this car video, and let's say I need to blur these license plates because I don't want anyone to see these. But you can do this if you want to blur a face, some personal info, or other stuff that you need to keep private. The first thing which we'll do is to tap on the effects option at the bottom. Then tap on the video effects button at the left side. We will need the blur effect, and that effect is located under this lens section. Here it is, so click on it once to add it to your video, but I'll tap on it one more time, and that will allow us to adjust the strength of the blur effect. You can make the effect stronger or weaker by dragging this slider, but I'll leave it around 50%. Let's then go back, and our job now is to tap on the right side of the effect and then drag it over your video. I'll drag this to the end of my video, and we're now ready for step number two. We will now add the same exact video over our first one, so we will click on this Overlay option right here, and then Add Overlay. Your photo gallery will open, so just add the same exact video in your timeline. Zoom in the video a little bit and make sure that it's positioned over the whole frame like this. And we're now at step number three, and you'll have to follow my steps carefully here. Make sure that your second video is selected in the timeline, and then scroll through these tools at the bottom until you see the mask tool. Tap on that mask option, and then select your preferred shape. This will be the shape of our blur, and if you're blurring a face, I recommend you use a circle. But since I have the license plates, I'll select this rectangle shape. After you select your shape, tap on this invert option, which is located at the bottom left corner, and that will invert the mask, and then we'll have our blur effect. You'll have an option to make the blur bigger, smaller, or wider by using the arrows at the top and right side of the blur. So adjust the size and the position of your blur. And there's one last thing which we have to do. And this is if your video or object is moving. As you can see, my video is moving a bit and the blur is staying in one place. So we will have to create a movement for our blur effect. We will do that by using keyframes. So follow me. Go to the start of the video, then tap on this keyframe option right here. Then move your video a little bit until you have to move the blur. Scroll once again to the bottom and find the mask option. Now move your blur, and the keyframe will automatically be added, and just repeat this step a couple of times until you move the blur to the positions that you need. After I add all of my keyframes, my finished video will look like this. So that's how we can add and blur a part of the video using CapCut. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like or comment down below, because it would really help me out. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and I will see you soon.